When the designer start creating the theme of a website, you just need to regroup all of the elements in a specific group. So think of that, like we have a navigation here that includes the logo, we have a hero, so this can be considered as the header. We have also some sections that includes other projects, company, and contacts. And we have a folder at the bottom. By doing all of that, just regroup the element. So by using a software like Photoshop, Sketch, Adobe XD, or any software responsible for creating themes. After the design is finished, the next step is writing the HTML code following the same structure. So if we have, for example, a header here, and if we have sections, so you need to follow the same structure by writing an HTML code that follow the same organization. And we have HTML tags that help us to do that. And let's just go to the category of this tags. So we have flow content and we have section and content. For example, for flow content, we have the footer, header, and main. Okay, let's just go to the design and see that. Okay, well, let's turn to the design. We have footer and the footer will be at the bottom. We have header and the header will be at the top. Once you find out that there is a header you need to use this header tag and we have main and the main will group everything in this page which will group the sections so depending on the use case, so this flow content tags, footer, header, and main are used to group section and content. And for the section and content, depending on the use case, for example, you can have article and we can have a side, nav, and section. Now let's just see that in a real example. So I have a flow of content, which is footer and header and main. You'll find out the header, right click, then inspect. And this is the header. So we have the header at the top. And let's just find out the second one, which is footer, footer, and this is the footer at the bottom of the page. So we use this tag. And for the last one, main, let's just find out for main. So we have the main that will group all of the sections. Let's just put that at the right to see that. Main, so that's our group everything. We finish with flow content. Now we'll move to section and content. This theme right here includes nav and section and not the other ones. Okay, let's just find for nav and section. I'll go for nav and you will see that the navigation is selected and we use the HTML tag nav in order to create a navigation. And for the second one, we'll go for section. And I have three ones, not only one. So the first one, okay, this is the first section. The second section. And the last one. Why we don't have this aside and article within this HTML code? Because we don't need that in this use case. This is not a blog and we don't have articles. And if we take a look at Smashing Magazine website, when we have some articles and we click again on inspect and we try to find for articles, you will find out that I have this tag. Why? Because it is used for the list of articles for the second one, third one, and so on and so forth. So it depends on the use case. So this is a blog. We can use articles. And this is not a blog, this is a website when we have sections. So we use the section and content tags, so depending on the use case. But in general, this footer and header and main, so they are used in the most use cases because every website has a header and has a footer and also has a main. And this is a simple example of a layout that include the flow of content, header and footer. Okay, we have the header here and we have the footer, and we have also navigation sections and a side. Okay, this is the side, and we have the articles, and we have the navigation. So it depends on the layout or how the designer created the theme. So to summarize, we use flow of content tags and section and content tags depending on the layout we are dealing with. And don't be confused on thinking that these tags are used in order to manage the positioning, because in general, positioning is the job of CSS and not the HTML. But by using these tags, you are just structuring the element not only for users, but also for search engines. So in order to see the organization of your document.